Hey there, Woody here with another tutorial for you. I'm gonna show you my process for how I start recording myself in OBS. So I'm coming to you out of Unreal Engine, but we're gonna record everything in OBS. Now this tutorial is gonna work for everything from VTubers to games to whatever else you wanna record in Unreal. We're gonna go over how to set this up from scratch so that you can stream with it, record with it, and even set up this scene as a webcam. So the first big mistake I see people make is capture mode. So like you have a bunch of different ways to capture a playthrough in Unreal, and we do wanna capture from playthrough. Some of y'all may have mocap workflows that will let you see stuff in engine. Uh, we always wanna be playing because that's when the functionality happens. That's where we're gonna get our best of everything in Unreal. I'm gonna open this new editor window, Pi here. So Pi stands for like player, play in editor or something like that, um, delicious. You can see my scene here, it's good to go. Now let me open OBS. To click out of this scene, you're gonna need a way to do that. It's typically Shift F1 to get your mouse cursor back out. So then I'm gonna click here on OBS, and you can see um, exactly what I'm seeing is, uh, is gonna be here in OBS, which is cool. All right, cool, now I've got something to start with. So I'll open Window Capture here. It, we do want Window Capture, I'm gonna type in Unreal. And now um, you can see the Unreal Editor uh, window preview has come up. That's actually what we want, but if we look at it right now, we're, we don't actually have what we need. So we're gonna change the capture method to Windows 10, and suddenly, oh, we have exactly what we want. Under Window Match Priority, we're gonna select Window Title Must Match. Now that's a big deal. We're also gonna turn off Capture Cursor. That's gonna make it look like we're not using our mouse all the time, because the mouse can be very, very helpful in Unreal. And the reason that we want to make sure the window title must match is because anytime we want to boot up OBS and we want to boot up Unreal, we want it to automatically find this window. We don't want it to jump to another window of another kind. We want it to just play our window. So that's great, but we still have like weird borders and stuff. Like this doesn't look quite right yet. So you can press the Alt key and you can left click to, to drag in a crop. This is great. You can actually see I have a little bit of a UI over here. I have a, a specific little gizmo that I can pull up but I want it out of the scene and out of the stream. So I'm gonna close up here. And now I can take this over to the corner and I can stretch it right back out. Now I have my audio bar here, but sometimes this disappears. So let's talk about how to get audio. You can always get a new audio source by getting an audio input capture. You can go up here and then we'll find our list of microphones. Currently I don't have any plugged into this computer. You can also find them under settings if you go over to settings and you go to audio and you turn on this default here under desktop audio. Now that's gonna bring up your desktop audio down here. You're gonna want that if you're gonna be capturing things off the desktop. And if you want a mic or an auxiliary audio, you're gonna go over here and either set up the exact mic you want or press default, which when applied will allow you to go back in here and change it over under the Properties tab. So let's talk about scenes and profiles. This is something I didn't learn until late on. So you can have, as far as I know, unlimited number of these guys. A profile is a set of settings. Now you can create new ones, you can duplicate them, you can rename them, all that good stuff. I have one set up for Twitch right here, and you can have scene collections. So you can see all the different ones I have here. I can make different ones for different streams. Um, between changing my settings with profiles and changing my scene collections up here, once again, you can always grab like a new one, duplicate them, all that. Once you have these, then suddenly you're good to go. When you create a new profile, it'll ask you a series of questions. So we'll hit optimize for streaming. And we're gonna use this set of base canvas. We'll, we'll confirm these. And then we'll, uh, we'll use Twitch and um, you can connect your account here and stuff. I'm not gonna do that right now, but if you go through with this thing, eventually what this will do is scan your system and give you a set of recommended settings. Now, once you've got those, let's mess with settings, right? So we want to make sure everything's looking good. So go over here to output and change your output from simple to advanced. So for streaming, you can see we have a constant bit rate. That's what CBR stands for, and it's set for 2,500 kilobytes per second. And I believe like the standard that you, most people are going to get after they run the wizard is going to be like 6,000. Let's go to the recording tab. 
Now, by default, everything is going to be this MKV thing. We're going to want to switch this to MP4. Now, the MP4 will let us use this NVIDIA NVENC H.264 encoder here. Uh, personally, I'd recommend this because this goes straight to an N64 codec, which is one of the most used and most uh, well-played codecs that anyone uses on any system. So I'm going to, once again, have the same options over here. So I'm going to have a CVR. I'm going to bump that one up a little bit, like maybe like 5600, something like that. And this constant bitrate thing is really important. So this is like how much data we're saving in a frame when we're saving information. So if you run a scene in Unreal, like a, um, a big forest or something where there's a bunch of trees and stuff, and you notice everything looks really uh, crummy and, the, and, like, and everything's really tight pattern and like all of that starts to look pixelated, that's oftentimes because of your bitrate. So a great example is the game Vampire Survivors. I have a couple of friends that play this game, and this game throws up objects all over the scene and creates really complex images. And that doesn't look great on scene and the whole image starts to drag. If you ever get into a situation where you need to record something and it's like this is just not doing it for you, the whole system isn't going to work, you can select lossless. Now this is going to be a ton of data, but you can do it if you really want to. It might be worth it depending on the shot you're trying to get. I've had to do it a couple times. We can see here uh, we have the ability to uh, start streaming, start recording, or start the virtual camera. And... Um, this obviously is going to go to my stream target. I don't actually have one set up at the current moment. Uh, I can start recording, you know, and grab a clip. Super simple, super easy. And then lastly, uh, the start virtual camera. This is great. So like any time that I open a like an app that would use a webcam, if I go to OBS virtual camera, as long as I have this playing, I'll be able to use whatever's running through OBS as a camera. And this is your final result. This is kind of what this is going to look like. So here's my scene. I am moving my hands around. I've got my little VTuber image thing going on here. However, you can use this for whatever you want. You can use this for games, to record games, for game trailers and stuff like that, or whatever else you do with the engine. So if you want to see more content of someone who is, you know, coming to you live from inside Unreal Engine, you should subscribe to this channel. I do a lot of content on how to use Unreal and all kinds of stuff. And I also stream on Twitch if you ever want to find me there. Uh, all the links are in the description, as well as our Discord, which is a home for all sorts of people who are doing interesting things like this with Unreal Engine and with other game engines. So if that's interesting to you, come check us out.